What's up, y'all? It's Coach Brian uh, doing our little walk. I, I tricked Sorinthia. He, he did. <laughs> She's a member of her group. She, okay, she got here a little early for an appointment, and I was like, oh, I was just about to go for my walk, so guess what? He got me into walking. <laughs> <laughs> so, coaches are still getting steps in, too. So, um, I want to take this opportunity to talk about a few things. I had a, uh, she had a good question. So, what was that question? Why is it that men lose weight faster than women? So, that's a great question. So, you know, women are, are diverse incredible creatures that are made to bring life into the world right right answer <laughs> so right so that's the reason so if you look at it like you you guys' bodies are a little bit smaller right yeah so it means a little bit less muscle mass right so but um you're kind of blessed with this this one more estrogen estrogen is made to help your body be efficient and core uh, output so that's basically what, what, what that's the two reasons is mass and estrogen so the higher levels of estrogen in the body the more efficient the more body fat you store the less muscle mass you produce and then the less mass muscle mass you have the less calories you burn so how do you fix that make more muscle mass <laughs> lift heavy ass weight <laughs> Stop eating like a girl. Hi, hey. Hey. <laughs> Schedule time for yourself. Uh-huh. See, so you say nothing about that. <laughs> yeah, I say nothing about that. <laughs> so, that's the big part of it. You know, you got to focus on what your plans are and what your plans are specific to you. Along a generalized overall plan. So, that's what this, this whole plan is about. It's like getting you on a generalized plan of basic health. And uh, those basic journalized plans, little, little tasks that we're going to be doing, are going to get you on a better path to health. And so, like sleep and nutrition, daily activity goals, and then what, what we throw in there is something called decluttering. So, we do decluttering in this challenge where we uh, journal, we journal, and then we do to, to, to do lists and all these types of things. So that's one of the reasons why Sarinthi is here today. She's actually a member of the gym. Yes. And she's done phenomenal. Yes, she's done phenomenal. We're talking about her posture today. How she's been getting better compliments on just, yes. just posture. Which is a huge thing. We'll save that for another conversation. <laughs> so. Alright, so there's a lot of traffic. You're safe, you're right. So, uh, you know, there's another question today that uh, a new person new to the group asked me is uh, her big fear is detoxing off Coca-Cola. Oh. <laughs> that's a big deal. Yes. I mean, that's basically oh. very, very, very addictive. So, um, first of all, uh, you have to understand the problem. So the problem is that you are supplementing sugar for energy deficiencies. And caffeine so you're dumping sugar into your body because your body's not effective at taking in sugar so it's like your engine's running and you're just dumping gasoline on top of it you do that. That makes sense, right? why would you do that so it's best what people do because it kind of works if you put gasoline on top of the engine it might work a little bit eventually it's gonna burn up and die yeah we don't want that so one thing to focus on when you're actually, if you're trying to come off an addiction like that, especially to food, integrating B vitamins like B1, B3, B5, B6. All those vitamins are essential for sugar intake on a cellular level. So then if, you're, if you're, your vitamin levels are good, especially in the Bs, your sugar intake is better. So then you don't need the Coca-Cola for, for sugar intake anymore. So that in turn helps you with your addiction when you're coming off that side of it because we're going to be eating a good nutrient dense diet, right? We're going to have lots of like vegetables and roots and potatoes and good stuff like chicken and really good stuff. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Oh. Sweet potatoes. 
but you know, so uh, that kind of stuff is important. So what what do you feel like you need to do if you have an addiction like that? You know, uh, there's different philosophies of that. Um, I would I would contact your your PCP if you feel like you have a truth uh, food addiction, but. There's things that you can do with behavior modifications to defeat it, and that's part of what this program does. It de delivers the behavior modifications that you need to defeat these these dragons, is what we call it. These dragons in our lives. We don't kill these dragons while they're small. They will come and get us later. So that's what you know when we do these dragon slaying talks for lunch. That's what we're going to try to do is talk about you know people's dragons. And a good common solution on how to defeat it. So that's what it works. So, Sarantha, you have any more questions? No, not no more? right now. No more. Try to breathe. Do we feel like do we feel like we answered your question on why women are so yes. awesome, incredible creatures that yes, produce we are. life? Yes, we produce life. So that's the reason why you know. So you got to look at it like it's not a negative thing. You you know, women are, are efficient at at energy. It's because you guys are responsible for propagation of species. <laughs> so you put it that way. <laughs> I mean, that's it. You're right. I mean, if it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't be here. I mean, y'all was y'all started all of this stuff. So. <laughs> so that's my evaluation. Um, moving further into it, this is the last few days of the uh, zero week. The challenge starts on Friday. Make sure you get signed up. I'm going to provide a link prices will go up tomorrow so make sure that you sign up today or you're going to be stuck with the the higher cost and it's still going to be a great value but um get in the program get yourself balled into your health this is about uh self-love taking time on lunch go for a walk have a good discussion with your friends yes. you never know what type of stuff you can put up in your life it all starts with like one walk one walk. One okay? walk. And you can do two. Yeah. You can do three. And then yeah. maybe you can go for a run. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's a good up. idea. Or you can Building put on a backpack up. and go for a walk. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, you guys have a good day. If you have any questions in particular to the subject matter that we were talking about, especially food addiction and carbohydrate addiction and caffeine ad addiction, um, there's lots of studies out there that show that I could tag I might, into the conversation about B vitamins and how to come off of addiction when it comes to food. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of studies that show that, especially meds, um, there's a lot of meds that cause uh, B vitamin deficiencies, which can cause also weight gain. So if you're, not, if you're not good at breaking down carbohydrates and sugar, your body's gonna want you to eat more, which you don't need it, because we're typically taking it enough, but we're still gonna crave it. So, it's weird. You kind of think about it. If you're kind of looking at the body on a whole, it's going to give you symptoms related to like what's going on. Now, some people have sugar cravings, sweet cravings, and that's actually a nitrogen imbalance. So, so you know, not enough protein. So, um, and that's kind of the way that stuff works. So that, that's pretty much it for today. Our mile's almost done. So I want to say hi to everybody out there getting challenged and people that's already in. We'll see you tomorrow.